So what I'm going to come up here, grab a, a, a stable surface. It can be a chair, it can be a desk, big a wall, whatever. This is this is a good height for me because I'm going to be I'm going to be going down, and, and this is nice. It doesn't require a whole lot of force on this. You don't want to lean on it. You want to be vertical, and you want your feel the ball set the knee good. And you what's going to happen? You want to pick up the back foot here, and you want to release the claw so that you can drop straight down. And you just want to be able to feel into that. Feel if you're feeling tension in your knee, if you're feeling pain in your knee, then you're doing it wrong. You want to line up the knee and not go as far. So if you're feeling that you go down just as far as you can and say, oh, okay, that's as far as I can go, and that's fine. If you as you get more and more power in your legs, then you can drop lower, 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 until you can come all the way down and then come back up again and do it nice and slow. The, the key here is you want to keep the knee set, right? So you're, what you're not doing is this. You're not doing, you're not doing that. You're not pushing the knee forward. You're, so the, all the work is being done here in the, in the thigh muscle. You drop down and you come back up. Boom. And you do that and you get, you can feel where you do not trust. So if you can grab a chair, grab a table, whatever, and just get it, just work on that. We'll just do like three of them. So the idea is you want to get close enough to the surface of the of the of the supporting object so that your knee is uh, you're not having to reach. So if, my, if I'm too far away, I'm going to have to lean into it, and I don't want to do that. I want to have my my lower leg to be almost vertical, just slightly ahead of vertical. Not so far as that uh, the, the knee goes out past the uh, past the ball of the foot. Pick up the back heel and just the whole reason for, for holding on to this is it is like training wheels. It, it gives you confidence that, oh yeah, I'm not going to fall over because that's what's causing us to get really tight. And so then you breathe and just drop it down a little bit. And we're just going to go down just a little bit. And then come back up. And then go down. Just, uh, just you're dropping your back knee straight down. Yeah, now switch legs. Put your other foot forward. I got my right foot forward. Set my knee so the knee's not going to move. And all the action is going to be happening at the claw. And the support is going to come from my leg. In this case, my right leg. And I come back up. And I drop down. And I come back up. And you're going to feel something in your knee. You just don't want it to be pain. You're going to feel a load there because you're asking the ligaments in your knee and the tendons in your knee to take a load. And that's okay. It's actually a good thing because that is going to build them up by stressing them and then relaxing and, and, and releasing. You will then allow the knee to, to get stronger.